Your Daily 180, 180 Seconds of Pure Bible Study. Why were there miracles in the first century? Welcome to this, your Daily 180 Bible Study. We're going to be talking about the purpose behind miracles. Now, sometimes Jesus performed a miracle. We find that he had compassion on people, but yet there was a greater purpose even behind that. Now, we've been looking at Hebrews chapter 2, 3, and 4. And in verse number 3, I want you to circle or highlight or at least remember this word, confirmed, confirmed. That's very important. The passage says that that message was confirmed to us by those who heard him. The Lord's message was confirmed. Somebody rides into town in A.D. 45 and they have a message about a Messiah who died uh, for their sins and was buried and resurrected again on the third day. This is the first you've heard about it. There's no, re there's no completed New Testament. You have no idea whether the guy is telling the truth or not. It might be an interesting message, but how do you know that his message is from God and that he's from God? God gives miracles to confirm the message and the messenger in the first century. Look at Mark chapter 16. In Mark chapter 16, we have the Great Commission. Jesus said in verse 16, He who believes and is baptized shall be saved. He who does not believe will be condemned. And then he talks about signs that will follow those who believe. And this is pertaining to the first century. We'll get to that in a later lesson. But I want you to drop down to verse number 20. And I want you to notice the purpose behind these miracles. They're called signs here. Notice what he says in verse number 20. And they went out and preached everywhere, the Lord working with them and confirming the word through the accompanying signs. How does anyone know in the first century? They don't have a completed New Testament where they can study the evidence and go back and forth. How do they know if these people are telling the truth? God worked with them confirming the word with the accompanying signs. Those signs, remember we talked about signs, they point to something beyond themselves. You're looking for a particular place to eat and you see a billboard that says a particular restaurant, next exit. You don't pull over at that billboard. You're going to the next exit. That sign's pointing to something beyond itself. The miracles were never intended to be a three ring circus show in and of themselves. They pointed to something greater. They pointed to the legitimacy of the gospel message. Join us again tomorrow for your daily 180.